Welcome back to Dining with Greatness. We have an exciting guest today, Jessica Pearl, a newlywed. Newlywed. And we're, we'd like, first of all, before we start, we'd like to apologize for the delay in getting episode three up. We've had any number of labor, technical, and equipment difficulties, but we're back today. We're at the Louisville Zoo, we're at the African Outpost. Just help ourselves to the lunch. What'd you have today? Cheeseburger and fries. Cheeseburger and fries? What a. Uh, how would it rank amongst cheeseburgers and fries that you've had over the years? I mean, it was it was average. It would be like a six or a seven, right? But it's pretty solid. The African, good. yeah, I had a couple of slices of pizza, one pepperoni, one cheese, solid pizza, what you would expect from a place that doesn't specialize in pizza. But I'm not disappointed in the least. I thought it was very solid. So um, you kind of grew up in the Greater Louisville area, correct? Right? Yeah. Okay. How often did you come to the Louisville Zoo growing up? Probably once a year. Once well, a year. we always had field trips. Field trips? We'd go on field trips or I'd come with my parents. But was, was it a morning field trip or afternoon? Morning. Morning. Yeah, I don't know how they do field trips around here. Well, it's like a 45-minute drive for us. Oh, yeah. We're a little north. You're kind of on the perimeter of the uh, greater Louisville area. Though. Yeah. Okay. Did you have pets growing up? Yeah. What kind of pets? Dogs and cats. We did have a ferret. We had a ferret. How long did you have the ferret? What was, what was his or her name? His name was Felix. Felix. Felix the ferret. Because yeah. we were really into uh, Felix the cat. Mm -hmm. We had a computer game that was Felix the cat. So. How, did, how did these pets stack up with what you saw here at the zoo? There, you don't see dogs and cats, so you can't really see them. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. That's the type of info, the input, the insight we're wanting from you. You've had some big days lately. Yeah. You bought a new car, got married. Doing this interview at the Louisville Zoo, where does this stack up? Like on a scale, one to ten? No, no, it just, I mean, was this better than both of those? No. Why? I mean, I'm... What, what if we not provided for you the would cause this not to stack up to your wedding day or Well, those are life-changing events. This is too. I, I would just you could rock it to start them. Possibly. Well, I'll let you know. All right. To be determined. Let's, go to, let's talk a little bit about the purchase of the new car. Okay. What caused this purchase? Uh, my other car. I wrecked my other car. Oh, okay. Was it an actual wreck or was it It wasn't a wreck, but it just kept getting messed up. Okay, so, so excessive maintenance. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that. What did you decide to go with? Ford Edge, 2011 Ford Edge. So you've been pretty happy with it so far? Yeah, so far so good. Okay. How would you describe your car buying skills? Do you do a lot of negotiating? No. No. I I try, but no. Usually I have someone there with me. Who I, but this one I had to do by myself. So. Did you do a lot of consumer research before you? Yeah, a little bit because I drive a lot, so I had to do gas mileage and all that. Now let's talk about the other, the third life-changing event, probably the least exciting. You got married. Mm -hmm. How long were you actually planning this this way? Uh, we got engaged November 2014, okay. so it was like a year and a half. Did you uh, did you have a lot of family help? You know, I know you've got a couple sisters, a mom, and all this. No, not really. Okay. Uh, my sister helped me a lot. But... Did it ever reach a point during the process? Where you were just fed up and you're like, you know what, I just want to go to the justice of the peace and do this. There were multiple times that I just was fed up. But. Not, yeah. If, if there was one thing you could have done differently with regards to your wedding, what would it have been? It could be someone maybe who didn't attend who you would have liked to have had there. I know what you're fishing for, and that wouldn't be it. Right, okay. I didn't go to the wedding. But I could tell there's like a void in her life that I didn't go to this wedding. Well, and he's just upset because he missed out on a pretty good time. It was a social event of the season. It was. Where'd you go on your honeymoon? Puerto Rico. Okay. That's a, that's a little different. A lot of people don't go to Puerto mm -hmm. Rico. As a native of Indiana, and you are in Scottsburg, right? Mm -hmm. Are you honor bound to be a fan of John Mellon? Kind of. Okay. What's your, uh, would you have a favorite Mellon Camp song? No, not really. Was Melon Camp, uh, was that a Melon Camp song that was your prom thing? No. What was your prom? I don't remember. Yeah. It wasn't that, it was something like very generic. How so. many times have you seen the movie Hoosiers? Twice. 
Only once. Only once. Only once. And because, you don't, because you don't like basketball, right? Uh, yeah, just not. Well, I don't watch a lot of movies. So okay. We'll talk about that. Are you ready for the Tommy Gun round? This is where we go real fast, ask a lot of quickly paced questions. Okay. We're going to need quick answers from you. Not a lot of thought, I, so just well, rapid fire. Okay. What's the last concert you saw? Uh, I went to Blake Shelton. What musical act have you not seen that you'd like to see? Well, this is supposed to be rapid fire. I know. I can't think of anything. Okay. I've so seen you've a lot seen of shows. every. You've seen everything you want to see. No, but I just can't think of anyone off the top of my head. Five sauce. Adele. I mean, that could be up there. No, I wouldn't see it. That would be depressing. I okay. like Adele. No, let's move on. You're not. You're not very good at this point. I told you. Guys. Uh, okay. Bar or liquid soap. Uh, bar. Okay. Who's your favorite Kardashian? Chloe. Is there too much greed in today's society? Yes. How many fingers am I holding up? Three. What's your favorite fruit? Uh, strawberries. Strawberries. I was going to say apple, but I can't know. What's your favorite place to shop? Macy's, I guess, here lately. Compared to other women, do you consider yourself an excessive shopper or kind of a tame shopper? I have a problem. You have a problem? Do you do much online shopping? I look online a lot, but I never buy. You're kind of a window shop. Yeah. I don't like to pay shipping. <laughs> Here's the big question. And this is rapid fire, so I need a quick answer. Would you wear the same sweater as the dog you were walking? Yes. Okay. There you go, folks. Jessica Pearl. I might have called her Jessica Bright earlier, okay. but she's, she's been married. Uh, her name now is Jessica Pearl. It has been our pleasure to have her. She's perhaps our most exciting guest to date. I don't know who we're going to have next time. We've been trying to get Andy Moe Dumpstore for about a month here. He's got a busy schedule, though. Very important guy. He doesn't have a whole lot of excess time. But we'll see you next time on Dining with Greatness.